Welcome to Megève for the official start of the 2023 Haute Route Alps. I know, we've done it for the last couple of years, so they're all hard, there's nothing easy. 750 km with 20,000 m de dénivelé positif. I'm a little bit uh, nervous about how hard the first climb is. No matter how good you are, it's still a challenge because you will push your limits every day, every single day. Pour Elite, c'est vraiment pour gagner cette épreuve et reconnu dans le monde des amateurs. C'est un vrai titre de pouvoir gagner la Haute Route Alpes. Pour les derniers, la Haute Route Alpes, c'est surtout de pouvoir dire « j'y suis parvenu ». C'était mon challenge de l'année et j'y suis arrivé. La Haute Route Alpes 2023, c'est la traversée des Alpes du nord au sud. 400 cyclistes from all over the world have traveled to challenge themselves on the most challenging amateur race on the planet. Ladies and gentlemen, it all starts now. I think people are very enthusiastic to get started and to take on the adventure of the day. Excited and a little bit nervous. I just wanted to go for it today. I'm Jasper, I'm from the Netherlands. I'm in the seventh place. I've been training for so long with the focus on Hauru, the seven day event. It's the big boy, the big thing. There is little gameplays in between riders. Most of them are very strong, very serious about riding bikes and racing. It's maximum. Ce sont les grands cols magiques auxquels les coureurs du Tour de France participent, en partant de la Haute-Savoie avec le col de la Colombière, le col des Aravis, en descendant ensuite vers le col du Glandon, l'Alpe d'Huez, la Croix de Fer, le col du Télégraphe, le col du Galibier, le Granon en contre la montre, puis l'Isoar, et enfin le dernier grand col, c'est le col Daniel. I'm really good. <laughs> Loving it. The Alps. Just so inspiring. I mean, look, beautiful mountain. I'm so happy. <laughs> Welcome to stage four. My name is Lindley Benson. My personal goal is to cross the finish line. 123 kilometers, 4,000 meters of altitude gain. Stage four is definitely the quick stage of the week. Croix de Fer, Télégraphe, Galilier. 123 km, 4,000 meters of elevation. C'est une étape particulièrement difficile. Run horrible, run brutal. I think it's going to be a very challenging day. Give it a try. If you don't play, you can't win. Very difficult. <laughs> Just put your head down and tackle them one pedal stroke at a time. There's no easy days in this week. Up, the time trial this year is the Col de Granon. It reminds everyone where Vingegaard starts to build his own legend on the Tour de France. Le contre la montre, c'est un combat face à soi-même. T'es tout seul et t'as plus que tes jambes et toi pour y arriver. It's a battle against you. If it's shorter, we just ride faster. That's so different than the type of cycling I do at home. You don't need to pace for multiple climbs. You can go all out. It's honestly really good mentally to start in Mejev and end in Nice. Throughout the week, you're like, okay, I'm getting closer and closer towards the sea. Welcome to the last stage of this 2023 Haute Route Alps. Your legs are tired, your head is begging you to stop, but at the end of the day, you will become a finisher. It's really hard to explain what you're training for to friends who don't cycle. I would say it's a challenge. It's one of those things any cyclist who wants to do it. Ah! 
so good. I can't believe it's over. It's a strong community of cyclists who all come together for one common goal. The week was incredible. It seemed like the best. Oh, what a week. Crazy. You are a finisher. You pedaled over 750 kilometers. You climbed 20,000 meters just to make it to Nice. That's it. You're done. You are a haute route finisher.